I'm John Joya, Contra Costa County Supervisor and CSAC President this year. When I became President last year, I wanted to make sure that we were highlighting the great innovative and creative work that's occurring across California in our counties, especially our focus on prevention and early intervention services. We hope you'll watch these videos and learn and be inspired by the great work going on in our counties in the area of prevention and early intervention. Siskiyou County is crisscrossed with rivers, streams, and creeks, and that means they have a lot of bridges to maintain, about 170 altogether. Many of them are starting to show their age a little bit, and that's where a project of preventive maintenance comes in. A lot of our bridges in the county were replaced after the 1964 flood, um, so they're around 40 years old, and so it's kind of like putting a new roof on your house. Um, they're about halfway through their life cycle, and it's just time for for a little um, tender love and care. What, what would happen if we didn't do this work, probably in the next 10 years, this bridge of deck would have to be replaced at three or four times the cost of, of this preventive maintenance. So we're just getting out in front of it um, and we're gonna save a lot of money in the next 40 years. The weather in Siskiyou County can also play havoc with roads and bridges. We have extreme climate differences in this county. We. Uh, have really hot summers up to 100 degrees and then we have really cold winters too. Lots of snow and rain so it, it really does adversely affect our infrastructure. Um, a lot of people think you know asphalt you know repels water but it's kind of like a sponge and it just sucks the water up. Well the water hits the asphalt goes through hits this rubber membrane and doesn't penetrate the deck which is you know doing the, the damage you know the water gets into the cracks in the deck gets into the rebar the rebar rusts and, and uh, flakes out and pops the concrete a little bit creates a crack and then the ice gets in breaks it more and more and it just kind of you know multiplies. So of the 170 bridges in Siskiyou County they identified 30 that needed help right away and they bundled them together into one project. When you look at the administrative cost to go through the, the design and the bidding process it's a lot more efficient to uh, combine those projects into one. The county is saving about 20 percent by bundling these projects together. This was a three and a half million dollar project, so 20% of that's probably $600,000. That's a lot of money for smaller counties like Siskiyou, but that's only one way they're saving money on this project. To find out where specifically on a given bridge the concrete is delaminating from the rebar underneath, you could hire an expensive piece of equipment or you can use the low tech method. I was talking to my uh, brother who works for Caltrans and he said, uh, you get drag some chains across the deck and you can you can hear if the the top of the deck's delaminating or not and so I uh, got a couple chains out of the back of my truck just regular tow chains and drag them across and you can really hear it we go out we chain the whole deck we mark these marks like we just did saw cuts the areas out chips them all out and we go back after he chips them with a single chain make sure the unsound concrete is gone, sandblast the rebar, cleans up the hole, and then pours this uh, rapid set concrete. You know, we have this infrastructure, you know, to replace a bridge like this right here, you're talking probably a million, a couple million dollars to do this, but if we can go in for, you know, 10 to maybe $20,000 and stop what's happening, the destruction, what's happening to it, and get it sealed up, it, it, it's gonna last us a lot longer. Well, it, it's saving us money in the long run. The work that we're doing now, if it didn't happen, then you're going to end up getting potholes in the road. There's safety issues. Some of these bridges, there was actually rebar sticking up that needed to be patched. And so not only does it save our maintenance crews time and effort, but it's also great for the public safety and getting people to and from work. And that's how they do prevention and early intervention in Siskiyou County.